My name is Yuna and today I'm helping you with the complicated bees. I know how frustrating it is when you don't know how to do it and the internet is also not helping you. So I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to do it. Uh, I made a little something to help and show you how to use it. And I will show you every one, every little step how to get the bees. So first of all, you need to get into your quest book and get a scoop and an apiary. The apiary you make with planks and caminite brick and caminite brick you make with caminite blend in the oven. Uh, you should have that at this point already because you need it for some others. Then you need a scoop. Uh, you make this one with wooden rods and wooden sticks and one wool. Uh, for you do these to break down the hives that you can find everywhere in the world um, Yeah, so the first one we need to get is a baron comp and To get that we need a wasteland uh, Bee and a wasteland drone This is the hive by the way uh, they're glowing and um so they're also glowing if you don't have shaders in so it's easier to find them around the map um, but there is a little trick on how to find them easier um, yeah you go into your map and then you see these little spots that are highlighted that's where uh, beehives are it's easier to find them this way So the next step is um, we go into the first apiary, um, we need a barren comp and we make that one with wasteland bees but you also get them from the hive if you break it with the scoop. Um, at the bottom it says wasteland bees and desiccated and dried bees need dead bushes as their flowers, that's very important. So I put a wasteland bee already in here and um, you see we get a wasteland queen and the bee is asleep because it's nighttime. Um, wasteland bees and desiccated bees need a uh, daytime to actually work but because I don't want to wait till I actually get the full bee um, just doing it at nighttime. So um, the next thing we need is a baron comp and a flint and knife. A flint knife, sorry. <laughs> um, at the start of the game we made already a cutting board and um, we need this one now to uh, get the resources for the quest. So you just put the uh, baron comp on top of it and cut it with the flint knife like this. So the first thing we got was a beeswax then another one and um, a forked one and now we got a honey droplet as well yeah it's a bit complicated a bit hard sometimes but yeah uh, I'm sorry we don't have sounds by the way I made a little mistake so um, I'm voice overing this video I'm sorry so uh, the next B we need to get is a desiccated bee. We have a 25% on getting them and we do it with a wasteland queen and a wasteland drone because we only can put a queen at the top and a drone at the bottom but we cannot put the queen or a princess down in the second thing. Let me just clear the weather it's a bit cheap but yeah. Um, so for the next one we need a desiccated princess and a wasteland drone out of that we get a dried uh, bee I, I found it okay that has a 20% chance to uh, mutate out of a desiccated and a wasteland bee so um so the next one we have to make oh sorry this one is empty <laughs> I fucked up something but uh, the next one we need to get is a desiccated drone and a dried queen and out of that we make a rocky bee uh, let me show you that real quick where is it 
Um, there. So we have a 20% chance to get this one. And as you can see, when we go on the percent chance, it says we need a tough block. A uh, tough you can find um, at the height of um, Deep Slate. It's actually still in the world. You can find it. You can just like break it. It's not that hard. Out of these two, um, we get a rocky bee. So the thing is, uh, it says now we don't have a flower. Um, for that, we need a dead bush. That's the very important thing. Um, yeah, it says no flowers, so you put the dead blush, blush, yeah, fl <laughs> bush next to it, and put the bee out and in if it doesn't recognize it, and then it does recognize it and it's working. Because it's nighttime, the bees are actually not working right now, but at daytime they normally would produce the next bee. So for the next one, we need a wasteland queen and a rocky bee to get a robust queen. For that, we actually need no block, but it depends on the rocky bee. It can be if you have a princess that it says it needs um, a block of tough under it because it's the wrong flower or it just, yeah, it won't work because it's the wrong one. So for the next one, we need a robust queen and a rocky queen to get a resilient one. Uh, it says no flowers again, so we put a dead bush, but it's because of the rocky queen. We need actually a tough under it uh, to work. I didn't recognize that at first because I was a bit stupid, but yeah. <laughs> so the thing you do is just put a tough block under it or behind the apiary. Um, it's, I think, doesn't matter for the flower block. So now it still says no flowers. Um, right? Okay. Well, so for the nether bees, we need now the rocky bees. And because we already have them, you could make them before, um, it's easy to make the nether bees, but you needed them to actually um, get the rest of the bees that was very important to uh, get the full quest so as i can show we need now uh, a crimson bee we make that one out of a rocky queen and a rocky bee and we have 25 percent and now it says for the mutation we need a nether ward block and Hashtag Minecraft is nether biome tag. That just means we need to get into the nether and we need a nether ward block. Uh, you make a nether ward block out of, uh, out of a nether spore and you make this one out of brown mushroom spore and red mushroom spore. Uh, if you left click on these things, you can find out how. It's not that hard actually, but yeah. So let's get into the nether. Okay, so we have here our uh, apiaries and I already prepared a little something. So we need the nether ward block, then two rocky queens, uh, rocky bee, sorry. <laughs> and it says now wrong temperature because we need an icy frame for it or a wet frame. Most of the time is a wet frame for wrong humidity um, we make frames out of wooden rods and what beeswax to get uh, wax sticks or yeah wooden sticks and then we need a snow block in the middle to get an icy frame and the same thing is with uh, a wet frame we just need a water bath kit instead of the snow block okay so we put that in it's still Oh, it says no flowers. Um, all right, for the rocky bees, we need tough as a flower. Um, rocky, uh, like every different um, 
queen has a different type of block that they like um, you always have to look if you can't find out which block it is because it doesn't tell you you need an analyzer that you have to do for the quest put a, dr a droplet in it and then it tells you which block you need under it to work so now it says wrong humidity because i put a wet frame in it so i put an icy thing in there and now it works um, the next one is with a warped oh no yeah okay so to get the crimson bee I showed it again okay so for the next one we need a warped ward block uh, we also ne need two rocky bees to get the warped princess and we have 25% chance to get it and also with the nether is biome tag and a warped ward block underneath the housing if it's need to be underneath it's always saying it so don't worry if you make this mistake you can always put the block under it that's not an issue so it says wrong temperature again um, so I take the two IC frames out of this one Oh, we already got our bees, but they are not what I wanted them. So I put them in again to get the bee. Like I said, it only has a 25% chance. So you have to be a bit patient. So now these bees are working as well. We should get the crimson bees out of that. Um, it just takes some time. That's all right. Um, yeah. The next one we need to make is a cursed one that's with a crimson bee and a warped bee. It doesn't matter if you put a warped princess in it or uh, a crimson princess. Um, if you get at the end the cursed bee, it's all right. That's also why it's always showing you both types of queens. Because um, it doesn't matter in which direct or which uh, you put in first if you need or if you have a warped queen or a warped princess uh, a warped drone doesn't matter or a crimson princess and a princess drone princess drone <laughs> so uh, yeah I tried to figure out which flower was the right one some bees actually require gill flowers but they do say that to you uh, and make it noticeable so here I found out I just need a warped fungus that was the right one yeah it's because it's a nether flower it was kind of kind of kind of obvious <laughs> so now these working too um, to say it is always the best to have a princess and a drone of every species because if you have only one and you mix them together with another bee and you don't get the bee you had before in it let's take a rocky and a dried one as um as, as uh, english help um then it could be that you won't get a dried one out of it again if they mix together maybe you get the mutation already or you just get rocky ones and then you don't have a dried one anymore and of course you could already uh, take new uh, wasteland uh, bees to make a dried one again <laughs> but it's better if you uh, have two of one species definitely um, the other thing to say is it actually needs some time till you get the bee you want so um, you really really need some patience so for the nether bees it's like uh, it says now it's uh, the bee is asleep that's because nether bees have their own way because we're in the nether we don't have day and night time so sometimes they work fully through and sometimes they don't so sometimes they're asleep and you're like oh no now they're asleep what am i gonna do now just wait till they okay again and for the nether bees be careful because they heard they sung 
when you're in the near. So, yeah. Um, the other thing is, if you need to do some other things to get, um, claim the chunks where you have your bees right now and force claim them. So if you get out of the nether, um, the bees are still working as you're not there. Um, yeah, we already got a crimson bee out of a rocky and princess and a rocky. Oh, drone perfect <laughs> and that's how you do it yeah and for the other bees it's just the same thing uh, the haunted one is the next one cursed and uh, robust there you also need the minecraft and a glowstone underneath the housing so it's a bit work to get also the blocks for the diamond bees you actually need a diamond block under it to get them it's a bit hard it's a bit a lot, but um, if you have the time and um, if you really want to get your resources over the bees, um, then I would definitely recommend it because uh, you get redstone and such way more faster over the bees than over uh, other things, uh, I think was it. <laughs> Yeah, so I hope I could help with this video. I know it's a was a bit stressful and such, but I know how hard it is to play this mod pack and you have no idea how to use things. And you search online, you use, you use chat, GBT and such, and nobody can answer you how it works. Um, and also all the videos you see, they don't really explain how they do it with the bees because they cut all, everything out. So I hope this helped i hope this was a good tutorial you understood everything and if you have another question please feel free to tell me <laughs>